Hello everybody, it's Neil and we're back with Ocarina of Time and Jura's Mask Randomized and we're making a little brief stop at Zora's River because uh, we're heading to Kakariko Village but uh, I figured oh, we might as well head here first you just got to offer me green potion yeah, never mind then um cross Sora's River off. We've done Sora's Domain as well, cross that off. Yeah, we're gonna do bottom of the well. And get a few treasures in there. I like bottom of the well as well. Don't know why. It makes me feel good doing bottom of the well. It's one of those as a kid where I just sort of like I it felt tougher than what it was. Bottom of the well. And I think as well, because this was like the first time where you really needed to go back as a kid to sort of accomplish a goal, like after you become an adult. And so it added that layer like it wasn't just, it's like a link to the past. Just because you got to the dark world doesn't mean you're never going to go back to the light world. Just because you're an adult, I think, doesn't mean you're never going back to being a child. So... We have to go and play Song of Storms to Guru Guru. And that causes the... Well, we're going to see what that causes if you don't know. Be curious to know how many people here have never seen Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. It's ironic we learnt this song by coming into Kakariko. Yeah. And it's got made the whole place go crazy. And that causes, don't, don't ask me how, but it causes, I thought we'd see the cutscene. Because this game has actually shown us a few more cutscenes than what I'm used to in a randomizer. It drains the well, and now we can access the well. Ooh. As you can see, just instantly greeted with a, a crawly space that you can only call for as a child. So, no chance of doing anything in this dungeon if you're an adult. None whatsoever. Oh, just let me get past. Thank you. So, as you can see, this place is full of fake walls and traps. Luckily, I know what I'm doing. And I'll be absolutely flawless getting through this. Right, treasure number one. Key, good. There's not many keys in here. Got a green skull fella. Right. So for one that here. Scheduler, don't be fooled. Because there's a pit right there that takes you to the bottom area. We will need to go to the bottom area at some point. Um, let's carry on this way. Piece of heart. There's another pit to my left. That's how you safety cross it. Um, play this lovely little little ditty, as I say, little ditty. La 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 la. That drains the water. So there is a pot in there. If you're playing pot sanity, you can get that pot. Oh, we've got a key. 
Just me can enter this room now. Got this little puzzle. Hug the left wall. It's casually kill. Quite low on health actually. Oh there we go. That's something that we really wanted. Bit of the old din's fire. No! Flawless. I meant to do that. I needed to come here. Alright, I'm still mastering that part. Alright. I'm still mastering that part because I can never remember exactly how to, to get through it. But like I said, we need to come down here anyway. Oh, the ocean title deed. So, I give that to the one in Ikana. That area, I believe. I think. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works, isn't it? The scrubbing like area four, i.e. Kana wants to go to area three, which is where you just been, which is the Great Bay, i.e. the ocean. Well there we go. Done that bit. So back here. Um go on, I might as well do, do this little area. So we've got this chest here. Money. I mean we've got Dean's fire, that's but that, uh, I can actually cross that off point to get this. Let's hope he drops some hearts. Right, and then we got this mini boss. As great as Zelda is, or so some like really bad. I think just really badly designed mini bosses. I think this is one of them. You have to purposely get caught to draw him out. I mean, I'm hoping using sticks kills him faster. I don't actually know. It's just really annoying. I mean, there is also this uh, hidden chest here. I've never got that during the fight, but I thought I'd do it just to, uh, like, you know, just, just for a change. You know, sometimes you just want to change, don't you? Just want a little change. Right, I don't think the sword actually does any more damage. Uh, sorry, I don't think the sticks actually do any more damage. Alright, so once he's dead, we can now escape and also get this chest. Hover boots would be nice. The uh, game really wants to uh, make the bottom of the bar worthwhile. Oh, that was an expert hit there. Love that. Right, there's a few more chests we can still get. Some uh, silver keys as well, some little keys, little tiny keys, some small keys. Um, is this one as well? Yeah, I think um, this is worthwhile. <laughs> Only the fierce deity mask. That's all. Nothing special. Just the mask that makes the final boss of Majora's Mask an absolute joke. But ha 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 bloody ha. Freaking hilarious. 
Right, where's the uh, entrance? Now, in um, the previous Majora's Mask Randomizer, um, there was actually an option where if you did get the Fierce Deity Mask, you can use it against any of the Majora's Mask bosses. Um, that made Odgwala, if that was its, its name, incredibly easy. It didn't actually make much difference against Goat, because you still have to catch Goat. Right, let's not make the same mistake. I'm going to... Uh, oh, I will use... I mean, look, look at that little gap. Not easy. Well, I don't really need to kill the light like. Oh, what is it? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's the odd potion. Ah. Well, we'll kill it because <laughs> it's uh, irritating me. But a bomb deal more damage. There we go. I feel better. All right, can I get out of here? Oh my god, I'm trying to turn off their targeting. Oh. No. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. Whatever. Whatever. I can't necessarily say it's actually slowed us down doing that. It's really easy to get to this side of the main room anyway. It's our last area to explore. We can get two more items, I believe. Um, oh, and then there's the two areas. One's going to be a small key, I imagine. Although it might actually not be. Um... Because it's still the central area with the locked doors. So we can go down here. Lovely chest here. Some rupee. A rupee. And then. What we can actually do. Oh, give the don't care. If we do that, that opens up this grave, which makes some keys come out. And I was going to say, normally there's a key in there. Yeah, it's randomized, so there's a key in there. Please link. Please link. There we go. Not random. So we climb up here and just go to the central area now. To that my boomerang attached, which is why I killed the Deku who attempted to with a stick. Oh, 
of a scheduler. Can't imagine doing a hundred gold for the run in this randomizer. Send you barmy, as we say. And we just do this. this brings us here for the keys will leave us long alone long enough. And it's just a piece of heart from the drawer's mask. So we go, there we have it. Bottom of the well. That's been cleared out. Um I mean, it might very soon be Stone Tower time. Or could the Spirit Temple as an adult? Kind of leaning towards that. Just finish off Spirit Temple. That's the last Ocarina of Time. No, it's not the last Ocarina of Time dungeon. I've still got Shadow Temple. Do I need hover boots in Spirit Temple? I don't think I do. Bit worried about that one, thinking about it. But I don't think I do. Wait. There we go. Well, we'll do Spirit Temple. I mean, what else is there to do? It's just mostly Majora's Mask stuff, but I'm not familiar with it. The only thing I've got written down is like, I know. I can go to the Akana graveyard and get three items, I believe. There's also the, like the damp. Like, I'm sure there's a damp mini game there as well, which I remember being really, really annoying. Oh my god, you got to be so quick to get that freaking heart container. I'm going to give it one go. There we go. Oh, it's rock of time. That was nice. Right, here we go. So, I've, al I've already done some of this, have I? Well, it looks like it, doesn't it? Forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I actually thought I might have already made the start as a kid, but not as an adult. It turns out I made the start as an adult, but not as a kid. Well, obviously I couldn't continue. Right. We're going to have to assume... ...that this is a small key. So really relying on this being a small key. Oof. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get any further. And I would have had to have cheesed something as young Link. Which I don't feel capable of. I feel so I've got a bit of Mandela effect because I always feel as though there's a um, chest there, invisible chest. Seemingly not, eh? 
Looks like the answer is there's no chest there. Okay, so. Right, I remember this room. Really annoying because it's like, there we go. Multiple invisible enemies. Right, so if I get this sun, that also gives me a chest. Now, I mean, I could use one mirror shield on them, but the fact of the matter is, is that I need to have the light reflector on that to keep the door open. So, 50 pounds for Majora's Mask. That was weird. I thought it was just going to be a plain simple ice trap then. Okay. So here now, we can explore more of this room than what we could previously. Oh. That might be a hover bootsy area. And that's a locked door. Mm. Oh, am I going to be screwed? Actually, there's no point in me doing that, being honest. Well, what I can do is go over to here. Play a scarecrow song. I can get a gold sculpture, although to be fair, just for future reference, to have interest. But I can just get it from here. Oh, thank goodness. A small key. Right. So, let's go back. I'm wondering I might be able to cheese it to get up to that area up there, but not yet. We've got to venture on a little bit first. Um, you can see there's a hole up there. I'm wondering if we can... Oh, can I make it onto there? There we go, that helped. So that makes that chest appear. I'm trying to think what that switch does. The button that's on that inaccessible area, I think. I think it just unlocks the middle door. Thinking about it. However, the good news is we can do this. And we can actually just find out now. Oh. <laughs> For a brief moment, I was like, oh, it's the mirror shield. Duh, Neil, you've got the mirror shield. Well, I don't think there's actually anything in that middle area. Not certain of that, but I don't think there is. Right. I think I needed to kill all that, but it makes me feel heroic. Right, oh, I'm so glad I could do this in this room. I mean, to be fair, it's actually a fun little puzzle trying to figure out how to, like, where you need to be to kill these enemies.
but I had Inspire all game, so I'm going to enjoy the Inspire. I never use Feral's Wind or um, Nehru's Love. That's why I didn't, when I got Nehru's Love, I didn't bother marking it on the tracker, because I'm like, useless. Well, that's what that does. Is this just a treasure room? Yeah. Good. Right, so you gotta get them to jump on that. And you could go through. A couple of invisible chests here if you can feel them out or we'll use the lens we've got our ocean scudgiller fine oh i wonder like am i gonna need to get all 30 skull chillers for one of the houses ah oh, didn't time that well Oh, you're in for it now, my friend. Oh, that's twice. I, I never get hit when I uh, strip them of their armor. That's twice it's happened to me in this run. That's unfortunate. Really is unfortunate, isn't it? They all think the same thing, how unfortunate it is. At least I've recovered my health. Um, I don't think there's any point going that way. Hooking over and going back to the Kid Link area. Um, we can move on for the final push of the dungeon. This area, so oops. Um, if you just do that and bypass the whole puzzle, which is nice, leave behind me uh, just some hearts. And we've got a lovely room here full of wonder and mystery. Oh, that just screams wonder and mystery to me. Uh, I believe you can use your hammer on these things, maybe? Yeah. Didn't actually remember that you can use them on the slugs as well. So that's nice. So use our bow and arrows. Then hook shot onto here. Hit the switch to uh, reveal the chest. <laughs> oh, I don't need to pop with these. Stop toying with them, Neil. Ow! Up this area. Kill him. And then, eh. Do that. Get this chest. I don't think there's any more small keys now. FYI. Oh, no, we need the bombs. We need the bombs. Oh, we 
do need the, the long shot shortly. The long shot shortly. The long shorty shot. Shorty long shot. Let me do that. And then we just turn this mirror, please, Link. If you don't, if you'd be so kind. There we go. Now we can head back. I mean, this dungeon's gone pretty smoothly, hasn't it? It's been all right. As we'd say. Then we can shine that and then we lowered. Guess where we lowered? Back into the central room. And then we shine the light on the face, causes a face to crumble. Um and that brings up the next question. Do I have the boss key? I do. Oh. Oh. Oh, that made me panic for a second then. <laughs> I was like, but I'm sure I haven't missed anything. So this is fun. You got a... Uh... You got a little mini boss before uh, you fight the main boss. So there we go. The storyline is that was actually the uh, leader of the Gerudos who went missing. In, uh, so captured. Oh, we're going straight into the boss. No cutscene or anything. And look, it's the it's the lovely, lovely old women. from uh, Potion Shop. This is a really cool idea for a boss. But it's badly executed. That looked like, to me, I don't know about you, but it looked like to me an absolute direct hit then. And yeah, it didn't hit her, so it's like, you know. My friend Mike gave me this uh, strap on the stream to stay there. Now he's got hope the ball into place. Not much else you can do. Oh, that's annoying. How very dare you. How did that fail? Horrendous boss. I mean, like... Again, it's like how 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 am I missing all these? Got absolutely frozen there as well. Like, I really do like the idea of this boss. I mean, it's like they are targeted, not intentionally. But I targeted and it still didn't hit.
Then you just watch him like fart around. I mean, I don't know if I've ever tried this. I mean, if they're weak to magic. Oh, it, oh no. <laughs> I thought they were going to uh, go into phase two then, but now they're just poking fun. Oh yeah. My expense. Poking fun at my magical arrows. Come on, please be phase two. Oh my god. It's like, how are you supposed to do this? You know what I mean? It's like... Unfortunately, this is just... Bad design then? What? The Dow that just start? I didn't even score a hit. What? <laughs> I don't know. Well, do you know what though? At least this bit is far less obnoxious. Plus, I really like these sound effects. So you get three charges of the same element. And then you can punish her. So go for ice this time. Another ice. If she goes for fire, we have to avoid it. There we go, spray that ice all over her. Fire again. If we're lucky, we'll, we'll get three fires. Normally, the throw in a uh, curveball would be like, here's some ice. Yes, there we go. She's been defeated. There they are. Dun 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 They come back in Termina. Oh, it's a medallion. And also the legendary. Choose. I mean, I guess the light medallion, that's all the medallions. 
So we'll go on to face Bowser. Bowser. <laughs> go on, might as well just call it Bowser's Castle. Meme it, eh? I'll own it. Now do we go on to face big bad booty Bowser? In his castle at Hyrule Field. I dunno. Do I? Do I technically beat the game then? Do I actually need to like beat Majora's Mask? What happens when I beat Ganon? Like the game end? Does it continue? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out in the next episode. Maybe I need all the remains as well. I don't know. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.